Hey all, Blake here with another video and it's been quite a while since we've done a good old fashioned plant species spotlight. So I know some of you guys enjoy this, I enjoy doing it. So let's jump straight into the video and talk all about how to care for hornwort today. Let's go. So hornwort is a really versatile, fast growing plant that is fantastic as a bit of a nitrate sponge. I first saw this as a video that Charles Clapsaddle did with Goliad Farms and he uses hornwort a lot in reducing nitrates in a lot of his um, tubs. So I thought let's give this plant a go and see what I think of it and I've been doing so for a few months now and I absolutely love it. There's many types of species of hornwort, about 300 registered but People suspect there's a few double ups. There's probably about 100 to 150 different types of hornwort. But the most common one we see in the hobby is Ceratophyllum demersum. So hornwort, really, really fast growing plant. That's why it's so good at being a nitrate sponge. It can grow up to five inches or 12.5 centimeters per week under high light. So you can grow quite a lot of it in quite a short amount of time. Because hornwort is so fast growing and so hardy, it has made its way onto every single continent in the world and it can repopulate itself really easily. So if you do keep it, first of all, check your local area, make sure it's not banned in your area. And then second of all, as with anything aquarium related, don't release it into your waterways, put it down the drain or keep it anywhere that it, it might be likely to wash into a stormwater or sewage system because we don't want to contribute to any more um, non-native species being in our waterways. As well as that, hornwort has some allopathic uh, conditions whereby it releases a toxin which can kill off plants surrounding it so that it can dominate areas, grow faster and uptake more nutrients or bulk of the nutrients in a single area. So for those reasons, I definitely wouldn't recommend it in your high-tech planted tanks, your Dutch style tanks and all that because you'll soon find that it will just kill off everything around it, uptake all the nutrients faster than anything else as well, and soon become the only plant in the tank. Now with that said, you're probably wondering, well, this sounds like a real menace. It's gonna grow like duckweed and kill everything else around it. Why would I wanna keep this plant? And there's a very good reason behind that. And the reason is because I think this plant here, being so hardy, being so fast growing, being able to be floated, is a fantastic option for big cichlid tanks, African cichlid tanks, and other tanks where planted tanks weren't always an option. For example, I've been using hornwort in my Neolemprologus cordopunctatus tank, which is a tank that typically they would rip up any other plants, but because it grows so fast, it sort of is able to reproduce faster than it's shredded up. And even if they dig it up, it does fine floated, so does, it's no problem at all. Whilst being allopathic and killing off other plants, is a bit of a problem. It does also have a great property as well in that it will also kill off blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. So if you are battling with that problem and you really don't want to go down the chemical treatment route, you could apply some hornwort to your aquarium to treat a blue-green algae breakout. Hornwort has needle-like leaves, generally in clusters of around about six. It can grow super long, up to 10 foot in length. And as I said, it can either just float around freely or it can also attach itself using a rhizoid, similar to Java moss and any other mosses. So they do kind of grab onto objects if they're in fast flow environments. But other than that, you can really just cut them at any point and you'll instantly create a second plant because they don't really have a standard sort of root system. It can be planted in the substrate and it's not likely to rot at that point. It will sort of just allow itself to be buried in whatever substrate you choose and will instead sort of use that as an anchor and uptake nutrients from the water column. With that said, it is a water column feeder, so it will benefit from some water column fertilization, especially if you start to notice it go a bit opaque and not look very strong and vibrant. With that being said, a big problem people have with hornwort is the needle shedding. So sometimes if you have a nice long few strands of hornwort, all the leaves will just drop off in a needle-like fashion, create a big mess in your aquarium. But the good news is that they'll only really do that if they're on the brink of death. And there's plenty of warning signs to look out for beforehand. 
So long as you keep it happy with some decent light, some water column fertilization, and don't keep it too hot, you shouldn't notice any of this excess shedding that does give people some issues. One thing to consider is that because it is so easy to propagate and it can be done just by splitting part of it off, just like duckweed or any of these other fast growing, easy to propagate plants, if you ever do decide that you want to get rid of it all from an aquarium, it can be a little bit of a difficult task. You're going to have to make sure that every single piece of it is out of the aquarium. Otherwise, it will be able to just reproduce from that point. So um, make sure that you only put it in the aquariums that you're definitely sure you're happy to uh, basically have to pack fully down if you ever do decide to get rid of it. In terms of water parameters, about 6 to 7.5 pH, so really, really versatile. 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. It's not overly demanding on light, but to avoid that needle shedding, I would give it at least medium light and it's going to prefer high light if you can achieve that. And that's pretty much it. Really, really simple plant to keep. Great cover for fry and other things. Great hardy option for big aggressive cichlids or anything that's going to destroy any normal plants and I just think it's a great weapon to have in your planted tank arsenal. So hopefully you like this video, hopefully you found it to be helpful, hopefully it's given you some great tips to keep, keep hornwort nice and happy and if you do you'll find yourself having a nice lush um, green vibrant coloration within the top or bottom or any other layer of your aquarium. If you like the video it always helps me out to smash like hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.